to my boob job, my second boob job. <laughs> it's not like a full boob job, it's just they, he's like cutting me open and then like lifting my boobs a little bit. Just just this one because it, it fell a little bit too much. Like it's total, it's because of my anatomy, it's not because of him. But it's just gonna be a quick surgery, a quick surgery. And then we're gonna um, grab lunch. So it's just under local anesthesia, it's not, under general anesthesia. So I just got out of surgery. It wasn't really a surgery, but it technically was a surgery. Um, and what he did was first I went into the like the it's called like the recovery room, and I, I just did like paperwork. And then he took he drew on me, and then he took me he froze me in there. It's like it was like pretty painful the freezing. It just it felt like a really sharp. Like, well, How'd they freeze you? With what? Like, the they needling? stuck needles into my boob. Ooh, that kind of hurts, no? Like, where the scar was, and like really deep, and it was that was pretty painful. That is painful. And so they did that twice, and then I walked into the operating room, they and they got me up. So I went into the operating room, and then I lied down. It was pretty cool because I was awake, but they were like cutting me open. And so they just put like this thing above my, in front of my face. Why don't they just do that all the time then? Cause like, they didn't go into my, like it's hard, like when they're sticking an implant in and everything, it's like too much. It's like you can't, like that's pretty, I don't know. It's just easier if you're asleep. I don't know why they don't like do that. Like for the person or for them? For the person? Oh my God. Babe, I don't know what you want me to do there. So then they just cut me open and uh, sewed me up, stitched me up, and then he's like, we're closing. It took like, the surgery took like 20 minutes. Longer. No, this actual surgery took 20 minutes. But like, it was a lot of like waiting before, and then I literally like got up, walked out, put my clothes on. <laughs> veggie sandwich from Subway and Paul got a mirror. You like it? I also got extra sauce. Don't show them. I was surprised that he had to draw on me again. But I'm going to Walmart, I think. And my cousin wants to buy some e.l.f. makeup brushes, so I think he's gonna come with me. I'm wearing my Juicy sweater, which I haven't worn in ages. I'm waiting for my prescription, so I thought I'd show you some of my favorite products. Um... This foundation is really good in the hydrate and smooth. Well, Madame Poreless is good too, but I like the hydrate and smooth. I used to love this. I probably still would love it. It was a very good, very, very good mascara. But right now, my favorite is this one. I'm actually gonna pick up another one. I use the curved brush in black. Oh, come on my favorite. Normally it's on sale, but it's $9.99. This is my favorite pencil brush, uh, eyebrow brush. Everybody always raves about these, and I have it in light, but I don't, I don't like it at all. So maybe I need a different color. I don't know, they look kind of like the same color. I don't like it though, I don't understand why. It's about to leave, we're in the elevator, there's Paul. He got a haircut today. Yeah, I got a haircut every two weeks. Every two weeks. And... <laughs> My boob is killing me. But it's date night. But it's date night. Can you bring the car around? Dude, not my car. It's just because my legs really hurt. You almost whacked me in the door. Right, and I forgot to vlog, but we already had sashimi and tartar in one bowl. But I'll try to show you the other one. But it's amazing, huh? It's the best sushi I've ever had. But 
but my boo has heard you so fast. It's the next morning and I slept really well. That could be attributed to the morphine. <laughs> But I woke up in less pain. Uh, lying down, there's like no pain. When I stood up, that was a different story. But honestly, my legs hurt more from my workout than my boob hurts from my surgery. <laughs> this is our new packaging for Coffee and Couture. Where, uh, because it, we've been open for a year, we decided to like relaunch the packaging. So these are our thank you cards. If you follow me on Snapchat, just at Tony's of Dallas, um, you will, ha will have seen this already. And this is our new gift wrap packaging, which comes with every order. This is the large crystal eye. This is These are my favorite pieces. That's why I put them to take a picture. Just the princess bracelet and the large crystal eye. And then this is my cousin's little card wallet, which I love. Bentley, you're so sweet sitting with me. He just wants to lie right on top of me. That's where you're comfiest. Where are you going? I still have to unpack my luggage. It's so very um, voluminous. Uh, I'm actually loving my foundation. It is the um, Guerlain Lefort one I did a first impressions on. It's like it's really beautiful. Um, I wanted to do a quick check in on um, and final check in on my uh, post op on my operation. So. I am now three days post-op. Um, as for the pain, last night, the first night was um, going to bed was really painful. I ha I did take morphine, I'm not gonna lie, it was painful. Um, I like to think I have a high pain tolerance, but I, it was painful. Um, yesterday it was fine, I kind of forgot to take like pain medicine. I just took two Tylenol before bed because when I'm just like this, it doesn't hurt. When I try to like put pressure on it or sit myself up, it it doesn't hurt. It's just like it's like I don't. I feel like I don't have like my full strength. It kind of hurts. It, it's kind of like oh no, don't do that. Like it kind of burns a little bit when I try to put pressure on it, which is normal. As of right now, it doesn't hurt. Um, I haven't taken any Tylenol. The last Tylenol I took was last night. I was even able to lie on my side. I just have to kind of like hold my boob because if it like hangs in a certain way, it like it hurts. But I was able like kind of on my side. I wasn't fully on my side. I was like I don't like sleeping on my back, but um, it was just comfier the first uh, first two first night, and then last night it was um, fine. I still have the bandage. This like on this was not a doctor's mistake this was my anatomy um it fell a little bit too low and it's not something that needed to be corrected it's not something that i needed to do it was only a few millimeters too low but if i'm going to have these for the rest of my life or at least the next few years because silicone can last forever they're not like saline where you have to replace them every 10 years or so um, saline, silicone can last forever as long as there's no breaking or anything, so I wanted them to be perfect and they were 99.5% perfect before and now they're 100% perfect. It was not Dr. Sino's fault and everything that he did was 100% amazing and I would recommend him to anyone, everyone. I just trust him so much and uh, all, all the results that I've seen of his have been amazing. I know a lot of my friends have come to see him and everyone is so happy. So that is my little vlog. I don't want you guys to think that uh, there was like a, a, a problem with like my boob job or anything. It was just purely, I just wanted it to be lifted a little bit. So it was just a little procedure. Little and it was operation, but it wasn't like I wasn't under general anesthesia. It was just local. So now I was waiting to get this procedure done to do my full video about all of my plastic surgery, uh, all of my plastic surgery, as if I have so much. But um, from my plastic surgery, I am going to be doing a video all about my lips and my boobs. Um, so uh, that's probably going to be one of my next videos. I know that I've been promising you this video for ages and I just haven't given it to you but because I wanted to get this done and I wanted to be able to like give you all of the information. Also for my lips I just wasn't happy before and now I'm really really happy with who I found and who I'm going to so I'll give you all of the details about that. That's it. I'm just going to go shopping now. Actually, I'm not going shopping. I put myself on a no shopping 
band. But I think I'm going to go, um, I have to return some stuff and go to the mall and just... Uh, it's my last two days of winter break, so I'm trying to enjoy them as much as I can. I curled my hair, like I said, for the first time in a really long time. And uh, I just love curly hair. Paul likes straight hair on me, but... I love my curly hair. Let me know down below if you want me to do a tutorial on my curly hair. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.